Okay, hi, I'm making this video to review how to convert measurements. Now, if we look at the teak, which tells us what we have to learn, we know we're going to convert measurements within the same measurement system, customary or metric, from a smaller unit into a larger unit, or a larger unit into a smaller unit when given other equivalent measures represented in a table. Let's go, get an, go ahead and get started with that. Okay, so every time we are having to convert, we use our star charts, which looks like this. Um, and we're really lucky because we don't have to memorize anything. They're going to give you this star chart on the back of your test booklet or in the front. Um, so you, this information you don't have to remember at all. You just have to know how to use it. Now let's go over some uh, things first. If this will stop moving. Um, on the left side, right over here, is the customary side. And on the right, we have um, the metric side right here. So if you remember from the teak, it says we have to convert from either a smaller unit to a bigger unit or from a bigger unit to a smaller unit within the same um, side. So that means we're not going to convert yards to kilometers. We are going to stick within this same little section for length. If we're measuring or converting uh, volume and capacity in the customary units, we're going to stick on this little section. If we were doing it with the metric system, we would focus on this side. Okay, so you only stick, you stick to the little section in which you're converting. There's no need, to, once you know where you're converting, you, there's no need to go to other sides. As long as you know, hey, I'm converting, for example, from gallons to pints or gallons to cups, you're only going to focus right here. Okay, let's go ahead and start a problem and make sure you have paper and pencil to write this down as your example problem. Okay, let's start with a problem of 64,000 ounces. Okay, and I know I have to convert that into something, so I'm going to have a blank here because I don't know what that will be. Okay, so this information, you're just getting it from the problem or the number um, that you have in front of you, the problem number you have in front of you. The second line is going to come directly from your star chart, and I'm drawing two stars so that it helps you remember that whatever we write down here is going to be exactly from the star charts. So I'm also going to go ahead and copy this equal sign here and I'm going to write the ounces because if I have ounces here I need to have my ounces here. I cannot have ounces and cups. It has to be, the units have to be the same. Okay, so um, to do this, to find out what I'm going to write here, I need to look at my star charts. So let's go over to the star chart. So now that I have my star chart in front of me, I need to look for ounces. I'm going to look, this is length, so I don't need to look there. Volume and capacity, that means how much something can hold inside, how much liquid. Um, and ounces is not there. there. So I need to go to the weight and the mass, how much something weighs. And I see ounces are right here. And I see that 16 ounces equals 1 pound. So I'm going to write that down on my paper now. 16 ounces equals 1 pound. But if you remember, on our paper, we have ounces on the left. And the star chart, um, we have ounces on the right. I cannot write ounces on the right and then have ounces on the left. You have to have the same units of measurements on the same side. So let's go back to our paper. Again, 16 ounces equals 1 pound. 
So here I need to write 16 ounces equals one pound. And I know it's, again, it's backwards from the way it was on the star chart, but that doesn't change the fact that 16 ounces equals one pound. It's the same thing whether I write it this way or the other way, with one pound being in, on the left. Now, since I have ounces and ounces, I know I'm good, and I'm going to have pounds, and up here I need to also write pounds. Now, I need to ask myself, I'm going to start with the bottom information that I copied from the star chart because I have both of these filled in. I have numbers and I can actually do something with them. So I need to ask myself, how do I turn this 16 into a 1? By, and I, the only two options, the only two operations I can use are multiplication, I can only multiply, or I can divide. So, can I, now remember the rules, if you have a whole number, and you multiply that whole number, it's going to make it bigger. If you have a whole number and you divide that whole number, you're usually going to you're going to make it smaller. So 16 is a whole number and I need to make it smaller. So I'm going to have to do what? Which operation? That's right. I'm going to have to divide. So I'm going to divide 16 by something. Now, I have 16 ounces. How do I divide them? By what number do I divide them in order to get a 1? That's right. And you divide it by the same number. 16 divided by 16 equals 1 pound. Okay. So if I do it to the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and come up here and do the same thing, the same operation to the top. I'm also going to divide. And I'm going to divide by 16. So I know that six, 64,000 ounces divided by 16 is going to give me how many pounds I have. So I'm going to, since I don't know what that is right off the top of my head, I'm going to set up my division problem. Okay, and because I know you guys already know how to do this, I'm not going to slow you down on this. Just go ahead and pause the video and solve the division problem. And when you are done solving it, come back to check your work. Okay, go ahead and pause the video now. Come back and push play once you've found the quotient. Okay, I, multi I divided 64,000 by 16 and got the answer 4,000. You can double check your work here. 4 times 16 is 64, and I got 64 minus 64 is 0. Brought down all my zeros and had the answer. So, I know that 64,000 ounces is the same thing as 4,000 pounds. Now this is called a single conversion because I only converted my units once. Okay, If um, you're doing a problem where you don't find this answer, chances are you might have to take this answer and convert it again. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now to show you how that would be done. And I'm going to use a different colored pen. I have 4,000 pounds. And I'm going to convert it into something else. So again, I'm going to... I am now doing this problem down here. I'm going to look on my star chart to see where I see pounds. Okay, so I can look. I see pounds and ounces, but I already worked with pounds and ounces. Since I know I'm working with pounds, I know I'm only going to look in this little section right here. So no need to go everywhere else. Um, so I already worked with one pound equals 16 ounces, so I'm going to go ahead and move one up. And I see that 2,000 pounds equals one ton. Again, 2,000 pounds equals one ton. And Remember, if I read it from left to right, it means the same thing as if I read it from right to left. So, 1 ton equals 2,000 pounds and 2,000 pounds equals 1 ton. So, let's go ahead and go back and write that in our paper. Okay. I, re I remember that 2,000 pounds equals 1 
ton or one T. So again, I have pounds with pounds, so I'm double checking. And now here, I know if I have a ton here, I'm going to have tons over here. So how do I need to ask myself, how do I turn this 2,000 pounds, 2,000 into a one? Remember, if I have a whole number and I want to make it smaller, I need to divide. Okay, because if you divide, you make it, if you divide a small, a uh, whole number, you make it smaller. And if you multiply a whole number, you make it uh, bigger. Okay. And it's important to remember that this only applies to whole numbers. Okay. So again, 2,000 pounds, I want to turn them into one ton. So I want to make my whole number smaller. So I need to divide. Okay. And to uh, turn this 2,000 pounds into a one, I need to divide it by 2,000. Because 2,000 divided by 2,000 equals 1. Okay, so if I do it down here, I need to do the same thing to my top numbers. So I need to divide 4,000 by 2,000. And I know that I will have, my answer will be 2. Because 2 groups of 2,000 equals 4,000. Okay, so now that I've converted 2 times, this is my answer here. So, I know, based on all my work, all the work we did here, I know that 64,000 ounces is the same thing as 4,000 pounds, and that is the same thing as 2 tons. Therefore, 2 tons is also the same thing as 64,000. And that's why we call this converting, because we're just changing the um, units we're using but it's still the same amounts or the same quantity of weight or the same quantity of liquid or the same quantity of um, the distance or the length okay so I really hope this video helped if you need to hear it again please 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 go back and watch it again pause it where you need to pause it all right thank you